This is Simpson Garfinkel, and I'm going to show you Windows 8. Now, full disclosure here, I'm running Windows 8 on a Macintosh inside VMware, but the reason I'm doing that is it's the only way you can see the astonishingly fast boot sequence, which is happening right now. And we've just booted Windows 8, which is pretty impressive. I'm going to log into the system, and there we go. Now here we have a, a Windows 8 machine. It's been only lightly customized. I removed most of my personal information from it. And you can see we have the Windows 8 Live tiles. Now let's say uh, we want to install a new program. Well, Microsoft has given us some programs. We can click on the Microsoft Store icon. And here are the top free icon programs you might want to get for free including Netflix and CNN for Windows and Dropbox and a pinball game. I'm going to uh, install CNN and we just click there and it says it's free and we can install it. And you can see that this app has permissions to view my pictures library and view my video and view my location. And has a, a few other permissions. And notice here it says it's supported on the x86, the x64, and on the ARM. That means this one executable can run on 32-bit Windows, 64-bit Windows, and on the uh, Microsoft Surface. We'll go to the home page and we'll scroll down and, and there it is. The CNN app is uh, installed. Now this is the CNN app home page and you can see that it doesn't have all that much information. If we really want to run CNN for real, we should type uh, Windows D, and that gives us the traditional Windows desktop. We can bring up the traditional Windows Internet Explorer, and I can notice that it's detected that um, Bing, or MSN, is detected I'm running with Windows 8, and they've reformatted their website to have less information. But we could go here and go to CNN.com, and get the traditional CNN website. And they're much more information dense. But, uh, you know, if you're running on a Windows 7 desktop, you probably want to put a lot of information on your screen. And if you're running on a Windows 8 desktop over here, then you probably don't care that much about having a lot of information being present, no matter how big your screen is. So let's go back to the Let's go back to the, the main page, and I'll, I'll show you some other things here. Uh, the, the People application has no people associated with it right now because I have not connected to any of my online accounts. But I want to show you how I can do that. So I can go over here, and I, well, apparently it, it thinks I have connected to my accounts, but it's, nothing's really showing up here. So I'm going to try to connect it to my, my, maybe my Facebook account. And we'll click here, and and it says this is a new device, and we'll say this is Windows 8. Save this device, even though it's not really a device. It's just some weird Facebook security thing. And uh, it says we've set things up now, so it may take a few minutes until you see some changes. We'll, uh, we'll let that go in the background, okay? And while that's going in the background, we'll come over here and... Um, Let's say we want to make a change to the Windows configuration. Well, I think if I come over here and go to the bottom, this charm appears. Settings. I could search through the whole computer. I could share this screen with somebody else. I could go back to the start page, although I'm already here on the start page. Let's go to settings. And it turns out this right down here, this is actually another button. We can change our network configuration or our volume. We can control notifications, turn the computer on and off. We can change the PC settings. This is so cool. And here we are back at the start screen. You can see that Facebook has loaded up some uh, photos of people I know into uh, the people uh, application. I can click there. It doesn't show their their cards for some reason, but if we click on view notifications it actually shows us our Facebook notifications and look there's there's some from tech review editor and publisher Jason Ponton we can click there and uh, we have the comments that other people made we have a little Facebook client built into Windows 8 and what's really cool is if we click on this and we can actually pull up Jason's contact card from Facebook we can uh, get a map of uh, his location now he didn't put where he is in Facebook 
but he did put he was in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And you can see that it's now completely integrated with Bing Maps. Uh, just in case you want to Bing him, we can like Bing directions from uh, Obama's house to Cambridge, Massachusetts. And there we go, it's from Washington, D.C. to Boston. And if you uh, want to learn a little bit more about these directions, here they are. And we can see that it's a six hour, 55, three minute, 53 minute drive. And that'll take you right to the, to the center of Cambridge. So as long as what you want to do is completely circumscribed by the boundaries of Windows 8, it's a great experience. And, and if you want to do something else, well, you probably don't want to be using Windows 8. Have a good day. Bye-bye.